Well, well, well. Welcome to California, y'all. It's good to have you here. Thank you, Adriana and Brendan, for that kind introduction. I, I have to do like the, you know, the thing. My, my CHP detail had no idea who Brendan was. I'm like, oh, we're going to watch the video when we're going home tonight. Uh, you, you got to see this. Uh, thank you also to the Human Rights Campaign for having me here tonight uh, and for the amazing work that you do to fight for our LGBTQ rights, safety, and inclusion. I want to give a shout out to Chad Griffins, of course, for his tremendous leadership. Uh, I am proud to share that as insurance commissioner, I use the HRC Corporate Equality Index to determine uh, how we select those companies here in California that win our annual diversity awards. So thank you for all that you do. You know, as a lifelong Angelino, I want to say welcome to California, where we value our diverse cultures and our languages. Like a lot of us, I grew up speaking both English and Spanish at home. Así que bienvenidos a California. Este es el estado de oportunidad de nuestra gran diversidad nace nuestro poder. Y le demostramos al resto del país y a nuestro presidente que en un estado comprometido a nuestra herencia inmigrante y comprometido con los valores de oportunidad para todos, la inclusión y el respeto mutuo puede producir una gente fuerte y orgullosa. Today, we are living proof that California is stronger when we stand together. We are proof that love is stronger than hate. And thank you for being here to demonstrate that to everyone around the globe. It is time, to, it is time that we not only unite, but that we take this moment to thrive in front of so many faces and so many professionals serving our youth all together in one place. As a kid, I never imagined that I could be here today standing in front of you as California's first openly gay statewide elected official. I have to tell you that there were times that I could not imagine a future for myself at all. For me, in my darkest hours, when I was filled with self-doubt and fear, I could not see a way out sometimes. But at the apex of my bullying in junior high, there were two years when I couldn't even leave the library. At times like this, we look to teachers and counselors for support. And for me, so many of them turned away. You know, I grew up just a half hour from here in East LA. My parents were undocumented immigrants. My mom worked as a seamstress and a factory worker. And growing up, teachers and counselors are authority figures especially for our immigrant children and families like mine. When our authority figures fail to see the signs that a student's being bullied at school or at home, like so many teachers missed for me, that sends a very clear message to our youth. It says that we are not worthy of attention, that we are not worthy of protection. That is why we are here this weekend, because we are not going to let that happen to anybody else anymore. You know, last month I had the honor of going back home to East Los Angeles to be sworn in as insurance commissioner. And I had my sixth grade teacher there, Ms. Mori. You see, I'm like a grown man now and I still can't call her Susan. She's <laughs> always Ms. Mori. And Ms. Mori was one of those who believed in me and that gave me the power to actually believe in myself. That is the true power and the responsibility that we have as educators, as counselors, all around our schools. Owning your power as educators, counselors, social workers, embracing the responsibility to our children is what this weekend is all about. When you see children going through a difficult time, they need to know that it gets better and that you are there for them. For those of us who may not be able to come out to our parents, we need you to be able to coach us through those conversations and have that conversation when we are ready. At a certain point in my life, something clicked, and I realized I have something that threatens some people, people who want me to be the same or think the same as they do. But the truth is, at a certain point in my life, I realized I'm amazing. <laughs> and 
that I was worth it and that I do earn and respect and deserve a future. And that can happen to you when you're 60, when you're 16. For those of us who have had our own coming out story, our own empowerment moment, it will happen. And that is why children need us now more than ever. Creating spaces where children can feel safe by far to me is the most important thing we can do. Because when a child feels safe, they can finally be themselves. They can finally have their moment. It could be a black trans girl living, living in fear every day of violence. It could be that football player who isn't ready to come out, and trust me, there's so many of them. <laughs> it could be the LGBTQ child of immigrant parents who can't find their place in her family, her church, or her school. Through your work, your continued commitment, every queer youth is going to get there, and we're going to be there to support them. So let's work hard this weekend. Let's remember why we are here. And let's help people get to their moment. So thank you for being here. Welcome to California. And enjoy your weekend. Gracias. <laughs>